In order to get views on your videos, you'll first have to get people to actually click. Even if you spent days creating the best video that's ever been made, it doesn't really matter if no one ever clicks to view it. To entice browsers to click your video over the hundreds of others in their search results, you need to have an attention-grabbing and clickable thumbnail. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to easily create eye-catching thumbnails for your videos on YouTube and other platforms with the tools and templates available on Canva. Canva has thousands of pre-made design templates that you can easily customize to create high-quality thumbnails for your videos. Using Canva templates, anyone can create an amazing thumbnail in a matter of minutes. Not only will you learn how to customize and create stunning thumbnails with Canva, but also essential tips to help your thumbnail convert browsers into viewers. So now let's head over to Canva and go over how to create amazing thumbnails for your videos. So first, let's check out the thumbnail templates that are available on Canva. To check out the templates, let's go up to the search bar here and type in YouTube thumbnails. From your results, you should see a tab that says YouTube thumbnail with the YouTube logo beside it. You can also see the dimensions on the right hand side, which is 1280 by 720 pixels. So let's click the YouTube thumbnail tab. This will take you to a page where you can view all the YouTube thumbnail templates that are available on Canva. They currently have over 15,000 templates and more templates are constantly being added. If you're already a design pro and want to start with a blank template, you can do that by clicking the plus sign icon here. But for the rest of us, let's scroll down and check out the Canva thumbnail templates. As you can see, the thumbnails on Canva are super high quality. They have all sorts of styles to choose from, so you'll definitely find the perfect template for your video. And keep in mind that all of the templates are fully customizable, meaning you can change the text, the images, graphics, and whatever else you like. Canva has some free templates available, but if you want to access all the templates, make sure you click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. So for my thumbnail example, let's just go with this template here. When you select a template, you'll see a window pop up where you can view the template information. So once you're ready, go ahead and click the customize this template button. This will open up the Canva editor where you can fully customize your selected template. Everything on your template can be customized from the images to the colors. If you wanted to change your template, you could do that using the design tab on the left hand side menu here. But for my thumbnail, let's just stick with this one. So when editing thumbnail templates, the first thing I typically like to do is edit the text. To change any of the text on your template, simply double click it and type in whatever you want it to say. If you need to expand your text box, simply drag the corners or the sides. The elements on your template can be customized as well, so let's resize this element to match my text. Now that they're aligned, let's select them both, then go up to the top menu and click the three dots here, and click the group button to group them together. By grouping my text and my text outline together, they can now easily be moved around together when editing instead of individually. So now let's update the other text on my template as well. The video I'm making a thumbnail for is a kickboxing basics video teaching beginners how to throw a jab. So for my main text, let's come up with something creative and that will grab attention. I think I'll go with ready, set, jab. When writing your thumbnail text, you want it to be relevant to your video and give people an idea of what they'll be viewing. Once you add your text, you can click and drag it to move it around or click and drag the corners to resize it. Also, if there's any text or elements on your template that you know you're not gonna use, go ahead and delete them. Anything you wanna keep, you can rearrange and resize. So let's move this colored shape behind the word jab to make it stand out a bit. To move elements or text backwards or forwards on your template, make sure you have it selected. Then go to the three dots at the right of the top toolbar, click on positions, then move it backwards or forwards. The shape is now behind my text. Let's adjust it a bit by dragging the edges here. There we go. So now that I've updated my text, let's change my template colors. When selecting the colors for your thumbnail, make sure you keep them on brand. For my martial art lifestyle brand, my brand colors are red, black, and white. With this in mind, let's update the colors to reflect my logo and other brand content. To change an element's color, simply select it. Then click the color icon at the top toolbar. 
You can then use the colors menu on the left hand side to select whatever color that you wish. So I'm going to select all these yellow elements on my template and change them all to red. There we go. So I've updated my text and changed my template colors. So now let's update my template image. I'm going to be replacing this image here with a still image from my video. I've seen many creators use just the video still as their thumbnail, but using a video still with the Canva templates can really help your thumbnail stand out. To get a video still, simply take a screenshot of the part of the video you want to use. So to replace my template image here, let's go over to the uploads tab on the left hand side. Here's where you can see all the images and videos that you've uploaded to Canva. To upload my video still, let's click on the upload files button. I can then find and upload the image I want to use. Once your image finishes uploading, simply click and drag it over to replace your current template image. Since my video is about jabs, I'm going to include an image of me throwing a jab on my thumbnail. Remember to always keep your thumbnail images and text relevant to your video. So let's double click my image here to edit it inside the frame. I can now click and drag my image to move it around or drag the corners here to make it larger. Remember that your thumbnails may be displayed really small in some areas, so you want your images and your text to be large enough to be seen in red. When customizing your thumbnail, feel free to move things around and make any other changes as needed. So for my bottom text here, I wanted to stand out a bit more on the red graphic. One way to do this is to add a shadow. To add a shadow and other effects, select your text and go to the effects tab at the top toolbar. You'll then see a menu where you can add all sorts of cool style effects to your text. To help my bottom text stand out on the red graphic, I'm going to add a shadow. When you select a style effect, you'll see another menu appear where you can adjust the settings. So let's click the color tab here and change my shadow to black. I can then use the sliders to adjust the transparency, the blur, the direction, and the offset of my shadow. And with my shadow, it's now much easier to read the word jab on my thumbnail. Since my video is all about jabs, I want to make sure it stands out. So we've already discussed adding your brand colors, but if you also have certain fonts that you always use for your brand, make sure you add those as well. To change your font, select the text you want to change and click the font drop down menu in the top toolbar. You can then use the menu on the left to find the font that you want to use. You can search for your brand font if you have one, or you can just search the Canva library to find some cool fonts to use for your thumbnail. They have a lot of free fonts available, but if you want to access all the fonts, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for my text, I think I'll just go with this font here. So my thumbnail template is starting to look pretty good, but I still need to do something with this blank space here. So let's search the Canva library and see if we can find some cool graphics. To access the Canva library, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the elements tab. Here's where you can search the Canva library for all sorts of images, shapes, graphics, photos, and all sorts of other elements to add to your template. Simply go up to the search bar here and type in whatever it is you're looking for. So to fill in my empty space, let's see if we can find some good background graphics. This will pull up all the Canva elements related to that keyword. Since I'm only looking for graphics, let's click the graphics tab at the top here. This should pull up thousands of graphics that are available in the Canva library. The Canva library has some really cool graphics in all sorts of different styles. With such a wide selection, you'll definitely find the perfect graphic for your template. They have some free graphics, but to access all the graphics, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So let's add this Canva Pro graphic here to my template and see how it looks. When you add a new graphic to your template, you can click to drag it around or resize it, or use the toolbar up top here to change the color or add other editing. For my graphic, I think I'm going to add some transparency. To do this, let's look at the top toolbar and go to the transparency icon here. I can then use the slider bar to adjust the transparency of my element. There we go. I think that looks much better. That's definitely an improvement, but I still think we need to add something else. So let's go back to the Canva elements library and this time search for boxing. This should pull up tons of different graphics related to boxing that I can add to my template. Take your time 
and browse through the various graphics and find the perfect one to use for your thumbnail. When selecting graphics for your thumbnail, make sure you're selecting ones that are related to your video. For my thumbnail example, I think I'll just try this boxing glove here. I can now resize and rearrange the graphic on my template. There we go. Now this is clearly a thumbnail for a boxing video, but I still think the image I'm using can be improved a bit. So to edit my image, let's select it, then go to edit image at the top toolbar. From the menu on the left, let's go down to the adjust section and click on see all. You'll then see all sorts of settings that you can adjust to improve your image. So let's make some adjustments and see if we can make the colors pop out a bit more. Feel free to play around with the settings until you get your image exactly the way you want it. I think that'll work. So now that I've edited my image, let's go over one more branding tactic, which is to add your logo. Adding your logo is great for branding and helps people know that it's your video when browsing. So to add my logo, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the uploads tab. I could then go to the upload files button, then find and upload my logo. Once your logo finishes uploading, simply click it to add it to your template. And just like the other graphics, I can now resize and rearrange my logo on my thumbnail. Feel free to continue editing your thumbnail as much as you like, but for my thumbnail, I think I'm just gonna go with this. So now that I'm finished, let's download my thumbnail to my device. To download your thumbnail, click on the share button at the top right of the page. This will open up a drop down menu with all sorts of sharing options. Since we want to download our thumbnail, let's click on the download tab. This should take you to your download settings. Under file type, make sure you have either PNG or JPG selected. These are both acceptable formats for YouTube and most other platforms. Everything else should be okay. So let's go down and click the download button. Your thumbnail should then be downloaded to your device. So let's open mine up and check it out. Not bad. I think this will work great for grabbing attention for my boxing video. But in order to get the best performance from your video, you want to actually test out various thumbnails. Your thumbnail determines whether or not your video gets clicks, which is pretty important. So it's a good idea to test various thumbnails and see which ones convert the best. One thumbnail style that tends to work pretty well is the forward facing person or headshot. And this is usually an image of the person speaking in the video and the background is removed to give a clean look on the thumbnail. So let's quickly go over how to create this style of thumbnail by removing the background from one of your images. To select a new thumbnail template, let's go up to the design tab. Here you'll be able to view all the YouTube thumbnail templates that are available on Canva. For this thumbnail example, let's go up to the search bar and search for fitness. Since I'm making a boxing video, I think fitness templates would be a great start. No matter your niche, Canva will likely have tons of pre-made templates available. So for this example, let's just go with this Canva Pro template here. When you select a template, it should be added to your project. And just like before, go ahead and change your text, remove any unwanted graphics, update your colors, and make any other changes that you need. So now that I've updated my text and graphics, let's go over how to replace this weightlifting dude here with the picture of me. First, we're gonna have to delete this guy. For your image, we can remove the background from a still image in your video, or you can take a separate image with your iPhone or other camera. I've already taken a screenshot of an image from my video, so let's upload that now. To upload my image, let's go over to the Uploads tab. I can then click on the Upload Files button and find the video still that I wanna use. Once your image is uploaded, go ahead and click it to add it to your template. So here's the image that I want to use for my thumbnail, but we're going to have to get rid of this background. Luckily, this can easily be done on Canva. To remove the background from your image, make sure you have it selected, then go up to edit image in the top toolbar. From the menu on the left, you should see a button that says background remover. If you click this, the background from your image will instantly be removed. If you notice any errors, you can correct them by using the erase or the restore brush at the top left here. But in order to access and use the background remover, you're going to need a Canva Pro account. So once everything looks good, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click the apply button. And I now have an awesome profile image to use for my thumbnail. 
You can now resize, rearrange, and edit your image any way that you like. There we go. I think that'll work. But now that I've added my image, I think I want to change this background as well. You can use any image that you like as your background, but instead of uploading our own image this time, let's search the Canva library. From the Elements tab, let's go up to the search bar and search for background design. And since we're looking for a background image, let's select photos from the top tabs here. You'll then see all sorts of photos related to the keywords that you searched for. Any of the photos can be used as your background, so take your time and find the best one. They have some free photos, but to access all the photos in the Canva library, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for my background, I think I'll go with this image here. You can now move things around, add new graphics, or make any other updates to your thumbnail as needed. And to make sure my thumbnail is well branded, let's add my logo as well. Since I've already uploaded it for my previous thumbnail, I can simply go to the Uploads tab and select it to add it to my template. So now let's resize it and move it to the best location. I think that'll work. So now that I'm finished creating my thumbnail, let's go up to the share button and go down to the download tab. I have PNG selected for my file type and I also want to go down and select the page for my template. I created my new template on page two. Once you're ready, go ahead and click the download button and your thumbnail will then be downloaded to your device. So let's open up my second thumbnail and see how it looks. Not bad. As you can see, Canva does a great job at removing the background from images. I can now upload my video to YouTube and add my new thumbnail on the details page. If you scroll down under your description, you should see the thumbnail section. By default, YouTube will select an image from your video as your thumbnail, but we're gonna add a better one by uploading our own. To upload your thumbnail, simply click the upload thumbnail button here. You can then find and upload the thumbnail that you just created. You can then finish going through the upload process for your video. And once you're finished, you'll have an eye-catching video on YouTube with an attention-grabbing thumbnail. So that's a quick overview of how to create thumbnails for your videos using Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.